Hi all. Welcome back to DevOps Camp. In today's video, we'll be diving into the world of file and directory management in Linux. Specifically, we'll explore how to create files and directories, and even spice things up with the usage of optional arguments. So, let's get started. To create a file in Linux, we use the touch command. It's as simple as typing, touch, followed by the desired file name. Now the file is created. If you want to confirm the file existence, run the command ls, which lists the files and directories inside the current directory. But what if we want to create multiple files at once? That can be done in two ways. Simplest way, you can run the command touch, followed by the file name separated by spaces. Other way is, by running the command touch, followed by the file name separated by commas, inside two curly brackets. I will create three files in both the ways. Once done, run the command ls to verify. Also, we can create a hidden file. In Linux, name of hidden files and directory starts with a dot. Let's create a hidden file named devops.txt. Run the command touch.devops.txt. If we list the files in the directory by using only the ls command, we won't be able to see hidden files and directories. For that, we have to use ls followed by the argument dash "-a". Now, you can see our hidden file .devops.txt. Now, let's move on to creating directories in Linux. To accomplish this, we use the mkdir command which stands for, make directory. Let's create a directory named, my directory. Run the command, mkdir, my directory. Here, I've created a directory named my directory. Easy, right? But wait, what if we want to create nested directories or even parent directories simultaneously? If you have thought the following way will work, then it's not. For this, we will have to use an optional argument with the command. For instance, to create a nested directory structure, we can employ the dash p argument. These arguments are usually called as flags. Run the command, mkdir, dash p, my parent directory, slash, my subdirectory. Let's verify above task by running the command, ls, followed by asterisk. Here asterisk is used to denote list all the files, directories, and subdirectories in the current path. By using the dash p flag, we've created both the parent directory and the nested subdirectory in one go. And there you have it. You now know how to create files and directories in Linux, and even take advantage of optional arguments to enhance your productivity. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Have a nice day.